And welcome back to the channel. This is Thomas Goes Nostalgic, and on this episode, we're going to be reviewing our brother's good door, Custom Buddy. But first off, you're probably wondering, what the hell am I wearing? Well, this is the bathing suit. It's kind of like uh, overalls for the pool, but it's from this company called Chubby's. I own a lot of their stuff, but this was just wacky and goofy, and I thought it was really cool. I wore it to a pool party once. I had a great time wearing it. But anyway, one day, my brother, he just messaged me and said, hey, send me that picture of you in that weird bathing suit. And I was kind of like, oh, okay, sure. I sent him this picture, and then a couple months later on my birthday, he arrive with this <laughs> it's a stuffed animal of myself how friggin cool is this and if you notice this looks a lot like those old wrestling stuffed animals from the 80s and 90s so i thought we'd take a closer look at this guy take a look at that line real quick and then just go over what this company does these wrestling buddies were created in the early 90s and were an instant hit certainly relief for parents worried about their kids performing wrestling stunts on their siblings Wrestling fans could now give a finishing move with their favorite superstar with a soft cushion fall to the bed. Think pillow fights, but on steroids. Literally. WWE, formerly known as WWF, partnered with Tonka to create these buddies, and later, we would see WCW come out with a version of their own. During the NWO era, WCW even produced versions with electronic sounds and noises. Almost 30 years later, and we're still seeing products made in the spirit of the original buddies. AEW even produces a line with their wrestlers shown in different poses. For a more comprehensive look at the history and variations, check out the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast full video, The Complete History of Tonka WWF Wrestling Buddies. I've included the link down in the description. So on this episode, I wanted to look at a product made by Brothers Godor. They do a variety of products from officially licensed merch, event signings, and even some customs. That is what we're looking at today. They have an option where you can commission a buddy made to order and customize it as yourself or as a gift for someone else. My brother got me this as a gift, so let's check it out. And here is my brother's Ghidor custom wrestling buddy. I knew I was wearing a fun 90s inspired bathing suit, but I didn't realize how it translated to a wrestling outfit. Maybe because it reminds me of the Steiner Brothers wrestling gear, they did an awesome job turning me into a wrestling superstar. First off, the quality of the fabric and stuffing is perfect. I'm not wrestling with this buddy like I would my old Ultimate Warrior, but if I wanted to, the stitching is tight and this could definitely withstand the beating from any young aspiring wrestlers using their bed to perform some elbow drops. Now keeping the photo of myself on the side and the buddy down below, let's just walk through some of the details of this product. As I mentioned, durability seems great on the buddy, so let's talk about design. The makers of this went off the picture shown above, however they went above and beyond and took some liberties with the back design. I'll show that in a few moments, but let's start from top to bottom first. I was wearing a kind of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air looking hat. They changed some of the yellow to green, which I absolutely love because green's my favorite color, and it adds some contrast to the buddy. Now I've had caricature pictures drawn of myself before where I couldn't really see the likeness, but the artist of this buddy actually had me look at it and say, oh wow, that's me. The sunglasses, the beard, my cheeks, automatically I can look at this thing and it's like I'm looking in a mirror. As you see, I'm holding a gummy bear in the photo. I can't believe they included the gummy bear, but boy, am I happy that they did. They even illustrated some reflection on it to give it that shiny effect. They really nailed the design of the swimsuit. I love anything 80s or 90s inspired, and the bright colors and that purple paint splatter design really came out well on this buddy. Now in the photo, I was actually wearing sandals, but they went a step further and gave me wrestling boots with the neon green shoelaces to match the hat. They definitely made me ring ready with those boots, and I love the color scheme they went with. Now you can commission a one-sided buddy, but my brother requested both sides, and since they only had this front-facing photo, they still went all out on the back, continuing the paint splatter and color design, rounding out the finished product. Overall, if you're looking for an eye-catching piece in your collection room, or just need a gift idea for someone, check out Brothers Godor. It looks like commissions are still open, and turnaround time is about 10 to 12 weeks, so right in time for the holidays. It's super simple to order, you just fill out the order form, upload a photo, and wait for your buddy. And for the amount of work that goes into these, I was afraid to look at what my brother spent on this, thinking it would be crazy priced. But everything is priced fair and a small upcharge if you want a front and back custom. I left the link for their site in the description below. 
And that's it, folks. Hope you enjoyed checking out this product review. Brothers Godore, check them out and get yourself a buddy version of you. And that does it for this episode, folks. If you like this content, hit like, hit subscribe, and ring that bell so you get notifications of when I post my next episode. Until then, catch you next time. <laughs>